my name is Courtney Richter, and I just want to share a little bit with you today about how God's been working in my life lately. Um, and before I kind of dive into that, I also want to share a little bit about Moms on a Mission ministry that I lead up with a couple ladies, Brooke and Jessica. We meet during the school year, and we kind of rotate between doing a book study or doing topical studies that are pertinent to us at, the, at that time. Maybe it's on child rearing, or maybe it has um, something to do with managing our time, or our marriage and relationships with others or those kinds of those kinds of topics. Um, we do provide child care during our meetings. It's something that we feel is really important. As moms, we need that time to fellowship with adults. And it's really hard to do that if our littles are running at our feet. So we do provide child care for our meetings. And something really exciting this year is that we've actually spread out to two meetings. So we meet during the day on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to noon, but we also meet on Thursday evenings from 6.30 to 8. So you can choose whichever time works for you. And um, even if one month you go to the daytime meeting and the next time you go to the evening meeting, I, they're the same meetings. We just have two times to help people get into their schedules a little better. And it's been something that's been in the talks for the last few years. And so it's really kind of cool that we have finally got it into place and it's going really well. And um, so if you haven't checked us out, I uh, implore you to, we are on Facebook, so you can find our meeting dates and info there. And then also we have an email with the church that you can find out um, more from. So with that, um, God's kind of been showing me that there are seasons to our life and COVID really helped with that, of course, when everything shut down it kind of made us take a step back and be like, oh, it's kind of refreshing to not have something on our plate every single every single day or, um, you know, I don't have a laundry list of things that I have to get done today. And that was kind of refreshing for that time. And so going forward, how do you, how do you maintain that? How do you manage your time a little bit better? And, and God's certainly been working on me a little bit with that. Um, if we look at Ecclesiastes 3, you're talking about seasons and really kind of verses 1 to 15, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to read the whole thing. So verse 1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And so there is a season for everything. And a season is meant to be short term. It's not meant to be a long term thing. It's meant to come to an end, much like our physical seasons in the year right? Winter can seem really long, especially when we're in February and we're stuck in the, in the gloomy, dark, cold days. It can seem really long. Um, and then the next season might not be so long. And our lives are the, very much the same way. And in Ecclesiastes, it continues on about how there's a time to be born, a time to die, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to weep and a time to laugh. There's different times in our lives. And some things that are in our life for this one season are there for only that season and they end and they're gone. And some things come for a season and then leave and then come back even. And um, that's one of the things that's just something that's been refreshing for me and just to think that there's so many opportunities, whether it's um, through the church, right? We've got really good Bible studies. We've got really good, um, we're starting up the harvest teams. We've got mom's group. We've got men's ministry, lots of things that we can be involved in. And you can help with all these other ministries and, um, man, so much good going on. I could put my hand in every single thing and if I wanted to, but, um, well, maybe not the men's ministry, but you get what I'm saying. I could choose to do every single thing if I wanted to. Um, but it doesn't mean that that's good for me. It doesn't mean that that's the right time for me. The same thing with our kiddos. We can look at doing sports. We can look at doing music. We can look at doing, um, you know, karate or gymnastics or, you know, going, um, doing competitions for them or all these things that they could do. They could do art classes. They could do drama classes. They could do all these things, but it doesn't mean that that's good for them to do all the things. And sometimes it's, Maybe this is good for this season, and that's enough. Maybe my plate's already full for this season, and boy, I really want to do that Bible study, but maybe next season. Maybe the next go-round is my season, my turn to do that, because that's when I'm going to get the most out of it. Um, so, kind of food for thought for me and, and just helping me keep a 
perspective on what am I doing with my time? What is the best use of my time? Because I don't want to be so overwhelmed that I can't wholly participate in that, what I'm choosing to do. It doesn't do any good for me to go to a Bible study just to show up and not have any time to actually do the study. That That's silly. Now, that being said, I don't want to discourage you from going, for, from going to the Bible studies because there's a time to go for them, right? Make that time for that item and know that I'm going to... I'm going to commit to that time and I'm going to do the time to study and I'm going to get something out of it. That's why we go, right? We go to build our foundation. We go to, um, we go to commit to the time to do the study, not necessarily just the time to do the fellowship. The fellowship is great and you'll get something out of that. It's not quite the same though. If you go to get the fellowship and don't go to get the study to do the study. If that makes sense. Same thing with our kids. We have to kind of pick and choose. So sports. The kids who are in sports, man, there's a lot of great opportunities. We see this with our kiddo in hockey. We see this with our friends in baseball. We see this with a lot of sports in that you can be part of this team and you can be part of this team and you can be part of this team. Well, how much commitment is that? And is that feasible? Is that good for us to do if... There's nothing, there's nothing left for anything else. Is our kids so wiped out that they don't have the energy left to do anything else? And so then the rest of our lives become kind of bogged down because we've got so much on this one, this one activity that we're doing, but it's taking so, it's consuming so much. So um, this is kind of what um I've been kind of having to focus on in that sometimes something that's really good for me is really good for me at that moment. And sometimes it's really going to be better for me at another moment, another season in my, in my time. And, um, I hope that's helpful to somebody who may be, who may be trying to figure it out as well. If you have any, um, you know, encouragement or if you have any experience in something similar, I'd love to hear from you just because it's still something I'm working through. Try, you know, it's just, they say it's a balance act. I'm not, it is a balancing act. It's kind of cliche, I feel like to say, but it really is in what are you spending your time on and what is really going to glorify the Lord because your time makes a difference for him. And that's ultimately how we want to spend our time. So every snippet of time that you spend, how are you using it to glorify God? Is that time well spent and you're, you're getting something out of it and it's glorifying the Lord? Is it something that this just might be too much? And so when we're done with this, we're done with this. Um, and, you know, it's just something to consider, especially when something, some new opportunity comes along man, really consider it before you dive right in, right? For me, my kids come to ask me something and I always have to say, I need to think about it. Because if I give an answer right away, I instantly regret it because I will remember, oh, we're supposed to do this and now we won't be able to. Or There's no harm in taking time to pause and think about things before you commit to them. And that's just kind of one of the ways that I've been growing lately and um, I hope it's beneficial for somebody else to hear that too, that, you know, it's, it's a little hectic out there and your schedule can fill up fast and it's okay to pause and it's okay to say, I'd really like to do this, but now, not right now. Maybe, maybe down the road, maybe my next season of life will be, will open up a little bit. So anyways, um, thanks ladies. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.